Hey, welcome to Flying Wheels. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels, and today's a really, really exciting video because I am gonna show you all the things you never knew about the brand new C8 Corvette. Things I didn't even know about that I just learned about by taking a Corvette class. I'm gonna show you, and there's a lot of little Easter eggs that you guys never knew that were there. And that's what's really cool about this video. I'm gonna go step by step to show you just some really neat tricks about this car. What happens if you get stuck? What happens if the battery dies? Where are the tow hooks? What about all these extra hidden buttons and features that you didn't even know about? Well, today's video is gonna be short, sweet, and concise, and I'm gonna show you all of them. My name is Craig from Flying Wheels. Let's get going. Now this is my 2021 Chevy Corvette C8 hardtop convertible, which is really my ultimate dream car. I waited nine months for this thing. I handpicked it on the Chevy website to my liking, like literally down to every little detail, I got what I wanted, which is what's incredible. Now there are a lot of really obvious features that most people already know about the Corvette. For example, what this key fob does, and I've already done a video on what the key fob does, and if you haven't checked it out, you should absolutely check it out. For example, we have a remote starter. Just like most cars, double tap the lock, double tap the circle, you got a remote starter. But you can also put the top down with your remote. So just by holding this button right here, the hard top convertible tucks away on its own without you even being in the car. Now, if you already own the hardtop convertible, the HTC, you probably already knew that. And this video is about much more secretive things than just that. For example, what happens if your battery dies and you need to get in your car? Well, all I have is this key fob remote. Well, most of you already know there is a key inside of this remote. Now the remote can actually shut your car off as well just by holding the same start button. Now your key fob comes with a little push button right there and when you push that, the actual key comes out. But you'll see here, there are no door locks. Like how do you open a car with no door handle? Well, just like the C7, the C8 has electronic door handles right underneath here that opens up. But what happens if the battery dies? How do we get in it? You'll see there's no spot for your key to open the doors. Well, if you look right in here, you'll actually see a spot for your key. Now, hopefully you can see that. I'm gonna insert the key right here, turn it, and you'll see the door opens just like that. Now that is really, really well hidden in there. And if you didn't see this video or know that ahead of time, I would have never found that. Now forgive all the dirt on my car. This is a driver. I use it all the time and I love this car. And unfortunately, I can no longer say that this car has never seen rain because I drove home in the rain last night and it got filthy. But what happens if the battery dies and you're in your car? Well, that's an easy one and let me show you. Going in the car from the driver's seat, you'll see right here, this is just an electronic seat release. They've been doing this ever since the C6. But the frunk and the trunk are both electronic as well. How do you get in those? This one's a little more tricky. Well, let's just say you don't have your key on you and your car is unlocked and you wanna open the frunk, the front trunk. Well, there's actually a little button right here. You just push that and your trunk opens right there. Okay, now this one isn't easy and it took a lot of swear words to get here. If you need to get in the frunk, which is where the battery is, the release cable is underneath the driver's side dashboard. And let me show you exactly where it is. Now, every video I saw said there's a little pull down latch right here and I was not able to find it. It's to the left of the brake pedal. It is not there. You can see there is no latch. I actually had to manually pull this push pin down by hand and pull this pad to get to it. And then you'll see right there is the pull pin. Now you'll pull this twice and it'll pop your trunk for you. And then don't forget to put your push pin back in place. Now I am an absolute Corvette fanatic and if you're watching this video, you're probably a Corvette enthusiast as well. Well, I had previously mentioned that I waited over nine months to receive my Corvette. And if you want the opportunity for a chance to get yourself a Corvette even faster, well, you might just be in the luck. I've partnered with Omaze for the second time, once last year and another this year to give away a 2022 Chevy Corvette. In 2021, Omaze donated over $27 million to charities and had over 6,300 winners, including last year's Corvette giveaway. Now I'm giving you the same opportunity to win the highly coveted C8 Corvette Stingray and enjoy nearly 500 horsepower in the most exciting American-made car in the last 50 years. Now this giveaway is the experience of a lifetime and I wish I could enter it myself, but I can't. Now not only will you be entering for an opportunity to win yourself a new C8 Corvette, you're also helping a great cause with the 500 Festival and the Make-A-Wish Foundation. And you can enter yourself by clicking the link below or going to omaze.com forward slash flying wheels. And now let's just say your battery is not dead. If you go halfway down your headlight and then underneath the bumper, there's another button right here. Now, like I said, please forgive how dirty it is, but the battery is actually right here. So to remove this panel, 
you'll actually remove the, these plastic pieces right here, come up and pop out on both sides, and then this panel pops up to get to your battery. Now, a lot of Corvette owners like to use a battery tender on their vehicle. Well, guess what? Chevy makes it nice and easy for you. This right here is actually a spot for a trickle charger that you can plug your trickle charger right in there and keep your battery on a battery tender through the winters or when you're not using it. Now, let's just say you are tiny enough to fit in the frunk and get this to close on you. If you ever get stuck in the frunk, I don't know what that, why. There's actually a button right down here that will release you from inside your trunk. Now let's just say you need a tow because your Corvette is stuck or off the road. Sadly, you don't want to trust the tow truck driver's judgment to tow your car. Well, right here is where your front tow hook is. If you pop this cover off, you can find the tow hook right there. Now on the passenger side of the Corvette, when you go in and underneath the dashboard, you'll actually see an additional accessory port right here. Now even cooler than that, some Corvettes came equipped with PDR, that's performance data recorder, and a camera to record everything you see when on the track. This right here is where you would fit your SD card for storage and memory. And then once again, we have the manual release for the passenger side door. Now as far as the rear trunk goes, it does have an electronic opener right here. But if your battery is dead, once again, you'll see there's actually a key slot right here. Again, make sure you fit your key in the proper direction to open the rear trunk with your key. And then your rear tow hook is right here. Now those are some of the cool emergency features about the CA Corvette. Now let's get back to that remote. Now this car is equipped with different driving modes. We have weather mode, we have my mode, which you can actually set the settings to how you like it, engine sound, brake feel, and steering. We have tour, sport, track, sport, and my favorite if you have the Z51 package is Z mode, which you can see changes everything, including the sound of the engine, which is my absolute favorite. Now changing the modes by the selector is quite tedious. It's not a lot of work, but it's kind of a pain. Pushing the Z button on and off is the easiest way to get in and out of the positions you want to be in from your favorite into your previous position. Now the car comes with two remotes, a his and a hers remote, or a his and his remote, or a her and her remote, or whatever your preference is, I'm not judging. But the car comes with two remotes, and it's programmed per person. So I can have the remote programmed to how I like it, and then the other remote can be programmed to how my wife likes it if she wants to drive the car, including the radio settings, the seat settings, and even my mode. Well, that's just a few emergency tidbits about the Corvette C8 that I didn't know about until just recently and I wanted to share with you guys so I hope it was helpful and if it was do me a favor to help me boost the algorithm by giving me a thumbs up personal favor to me and I just appreciate it very much and I appreciate the support and it's like people helping people you know I'll give you all the information I learned spread it out to you guys and you guys help me by hitting the like button if you want to see more Corvette info just hit the subscribe button otherwise I'll see you guys all later have a great day adios